Hey there, what's up everybody? This is your nutritionist on the go, Kamal Deep Singh Ojla from Erudite Nutrition. Now, I hope that you guys have already watched my part one on diabetes, where we have just covered the introduction of diabetes. Because you ha if you haven't watched, you guys need to watch that. Because we need to grip this topic right from the beginning. All right, guys. So this is part two of the same series. And we are going to uncover some facts about diabetes. Okay. Now, before starting the video, I want to give a small disclaimer. See, guys, internet here is full of advices, especially health and nutrition. But you cannot rely on all of these advices, even if they are coming from me or any other certified nutritionist or any other certified dietitian. OK, until and unless you go and personally visit a nutritionist or a dietitian, I suggest you do not follow any dietary advice on your own. Don't be naive. All right. This is your health at stake. All right. So the Internet is filled with so many good advices, but so many bad advices also. So if if ever you have found anything that I have said interesting and you think that can benefit you in a long run, I suggest you consult me because no same patient is of same type. OK, no two patients can be same. Everybody has a different metabolism. Everybody has a different biochemistry of the body. So if you are a diabetic and you're watching this video and you're grasping some advice in this video or in the in the, in the previous video or in the upcoming videos, I request you guys without a physical consult with me or without the consult of your doctor do not blindly follow any advice that is being given on the internet internet is not a safe place to take health advices all right guys i hope i make myself clear let's begin with the video now today we are going to uncover the effects of macronutrients on our blood sugar levels now, what are the macronutrients number one carbohydrates fats, proteins, and fiber. Okay, we are going to discuss all these four macronutrients and their effect on our blood sugar levels. So guys, at priority, we are going to discuss about carbohydrates. The most important factor that you need to understand when it comes to diabetes. Because carbohydrates have a direct relationship with the blood sugar levels. The more amount of carbohydrates that you eat, the more amount of sugar in your blood. Okay, now carbohydrates are of two types, complex carbohydrates and simple carbohydrates. We will discuss this more in the upcoming video when we talk about grains and lentils and pulses. Okay, but I just want to give you an overview. What are simple carbohydrates? Those carbohydrate structures that are broken down and digested too easily and too readily in your body so that they are converted into sugars very fast and all that sugar is being transported into your blood. So what is that going to do? That's going to shoot up your blood glucose levels. That's dangerous and that's not, that's not what we want. We want to avoid that. Rather than that, if we take a look at complex carbohydrates, because the amount of fiber in complex carbohydrates is high, all the complex carbohydrates are digested in a slow manner. We made already that point clear. We are going to go for complex carbohydrates now, rather than going for simple carbohydrates. Coming back to number two, fats. I love fats, okay? Fats are the macronutrient, very essential to our body, that have minimum effect on your blood sugar levels. The intake of fats will not disturb your blood sugar levels, but the intake of healthy fats. If you're not taking enough healthy fats and you're going for fats that are processed or that are omega-6 which are inflammation causing okay 
if you go for those types of fats such as refined oils okay the the preservative food the fried food overcooked food all these oils are gonna harm you in one way or another okay so fats in terms of a healthy fat such as almonds almonds are such a great source of fats coconut oil yes it is high in saturated fats but we are talking about diabetes right now so it is totally safe for you but in a right amount i don't want you guys to over consume on fats okay the third group is proteins everybody's obsessed with proteins we know proteins are important i agree to that but how much protein that is the question taking excess amount of protein your body will start breaking down protein and converting it into energy okay it's not like fats your fats are stored as fatty acids only in the case of, uh, of of survival where your body is depleted of energy your body will use fats as a source of energy but if you're consuming too much protein your body will just simply start breaking down those proteins to release energy those proteins will not be used as the building structure the building blocks of cells and muscles and tissues they will actually spike up your blood glucose level and that's not what we want so the last is fiber fiber is the best thing all right fiber helps to control our blood sugar levels how you add fiber to your diet the whole digestion process is going to get a little slow down so now what's going to happen even if you're having a lot of carbohydrates but you're having them with high fiber those carbohydrates will be broken down in a slow fashion because the fiber will not let your body to readily break down digest and convert those carbohydrates into sugars and raise your blood glucose level no that is not going to happen see fiber in your grains fibers in your dals and pulses lentils fiber in your vegetables and fiber in your fruit is very essential okay without that fiber all the sugars will be readily absorbed and they will raise your blood glucose level way too high we do not want that all right guys so this was just a small brief discussion about the macronutrients and how they affect on our blood sugar levels in the next video we will go we are going to talk about foods in terms of groups so we will be discussing cereal groups the lentils and pulses group the vegetable group and then we are going to discuss the fruit group the one of the most trickiest one the fruit group and the last comes is the group of milk eggs chicken and fish okay and it is needless to say sugar honey and jaggery is harmful and whoever gave you that advice that a diabetic person cannot eat sugars but he can have jaggery instead punch that guy in the face when you meet him next time all right i'll see you guys next time stay tuned for the next video all right take care everybody good night